we are back with UFL 5 and the next bout of the evening amateur MMA 3 3 minute rounds Ines Unfau versus Toto Toto Raitis. Both men ready here for action. Moments away. And it touch gloves, ladies and gentlemen. Both men are in the middle of the octagon. First kick thrown by Toto. Both men looking cagey to start this encounter. UFL 5, ladies and gentlemen. Another front kick thrown by Toto. Both men in the middle. Toto charging forward. Lands a kick in overhand. Tries to grapple and foul. Trying to take him down. Ends up on top. Ends up on top here in round number one in a mountain position. Can Toto reverse here? And he does. He ends up on top here. Lousy work from Toto with his mount. Not sufficient. Back on their feet against the fence. And Fowl doing a great job using his forehand to create space. Toto with a strike over the top. Both men clinched here. Round number one. We're sponsored by Jung Fightwear and SK Twins Podcast. Both men against the fence. Underhook position here for Toto. And he has in foul against the fence. Lands a knee. Taking advantage. Still he has in foul against the fence. And foul pushing the face away. Doing a great job of creating a little bit of room with his overhook with the other hand. Turning Toto but ending up back on the fence. Toto with a knee. Beautiful work with the knees from Toto. And the strikes. Toto really landing some meaningful shots. It shoots for a single. Changes levels there more momentarily. And Fowl doing a great job getting a headlock position and an overhook. He has Toto with his back against the fence. Toto landing a knee. Little strikes here from in Fowl. This is action-packed stuff here, ladies and gentlemen. Round number one. Toto again landing a barrage of hooks and a knee and another knee. A beautiful clinch-working knees here from Toto. And Fowl really struggling here and having to force the position back. In his favour, he's got Toto against the fence, landing a few strikes of his own. Toto trying to shoot there for a desperation takedown, but didn't work. Toto's got the clinch again. Clinch position, landing a few meaningful knees once more. Ladies and gentlemen, this is UFL 5 live on pay-per-view. And Fowl now using that forearm again to create space with the overhook, turning Toto into the fence here. Using his hands to push his face away, creating a bit of room for himself. He's landing strikes. A punch to the head. Knee from Toto once more. Toto's used the knees really well this evening. Spinning back kick, but too far away. Sponsored by Jung Fightwear. Ladies and gentlemen, again a clinch. Beautiful clinch from Toto. One knee separation. And Fow now has him against the fence here. A lovely strike from Anfau again. Beautiful hooks from Anfau. And then Toto's fell to the ground and the referees had to jump in and stop the fight. I think Toto completely just ran out of steam there. Couldn't really defend himself in that position. And Anfau just unloaded with hooks to the head, hooks to the body. And really took advantage of that. That's seriously impressive stuff from both young men on UFL 5. Ladies and gentlemen, what about... And this is only amateur MMA, but ladies and gentlemen, both men came in wanting to win and knowing exactly what they wanted to do to get the win. Impressive stuff from the Submission Factory athlete up in Scotland, Alloa, led by Craig McIntosh. Brilliant work. 